poor Miss Marianne looked very badly the other day. When I think of her, it frightens me to think that I shall never marry. Nonsense. You will marry far better than either of the Dashwood girls. Oh, but I have no dowry. There are qualities which will always make up for that, and you have them in abundance. It would not surprise me if you were to marry far and away beyond your expectations. Oh, I wish that might be so. There is a young man. Aha, uh -huh, I'm glad to hear of it. Is your good fortune and breeding? Of both. But his family would certainly oppose the match. Hush. They will allow it as soon as they see you, my dear. It is a very great secret. I've told nobody in the world for fear of discovery. I am the soul of discretion. If I dare tell. I can assure you, I am as silent as the grave. The very one I used to joke you about, Miss Dashwood, is engaged these five years to Lucy Steele. Poor Mr. Ferris, his mother, who by all accounts is very proud, has demanded that he break the engagement on pain of disinheritance. But he has refused to break his promise to Lucy. He has stood by her good man and is cut off without a penny. She has settled it all irrevocably on Mr. Robert, but I cannot stop. I must go to Lucy. Your sister-in-law scolded her like any fury. How long have you known? Pigeon, I need the carriage this instant. Since the night Mrs. Jenny has offered to take us to London. Why did you not tell me? Lucy told me in the strictest confidence. I could not break my word. But Edward loves you. He no promises. He tried to tell me about Lucy. He cannot marry her. Would you have him treat her even worse than Willoughby has treated you? No. But nor would I have him marry where he does not love. Edward made his promise a long time ago, long before he met me. Though he may harbour some re regret, I believe that he will be happy in the knowledge that he did his duty and kept his word. After all... After all that is... Bewitching in the idea of one's happiness entirely depending on one person. It is not always possible. We must accept. Edward will marry Lucy. And you and I will go home. Always resignation and acceptance. Always prudence and honour and duty. Eleanor, where is your heart? What do you know of my heart? What do you know of anything but your own suffering? For weeks, Marianne, I've had this pressing on me without being at liberty to speak of it to a single creature. It was forced on me by the very person whose prior claims ruined all my hopes. I have endured her exaltation again and again whilst knowing myself to be divided from Edward forever. Believe me, Marianne, had I not been bound to silence, I could have produced proof enough of a broken heart even for you. No. <laughs> 